Mr. Sunshine smacked you in the heart. From the harsh realities of life during this period to the forbidden love between characters this drama had it all, the honor and bravery that then bursts into an extraordinary story of love, friendship, and patriotism. How many of you have rewatched this drama? Which character do you want to know most about? Mr. Sunshine revealed to the world another incredible group of Korean actors who can display so much emotion in just the smallest smile or tear-filled eye. If you are anything like me, then you want to know what they are up to now and where did they get their acting break. So here is everything you need to know about Mr. Sunshine's cast, from Lee Byung-hun to Kim Tae-ri. Yoo Yun suk is one good-looking, multi-talented actor in the Korean entertainment industry. He played the role of Gu Dong-mae, who was a member of the Kokuruke. After a terrible childhood, he abandoned Joseon and honed his knife skills in Japan. But upon returning to Joseon, he is caught between doing what his heart yearned for and what his boss had ordered. He was a conflicted character which had a lot to do with noble lady Aishin. Did you know he lives in the same apartment building as his best friend Son Ho Joon? And ladies, he is currently single, despite all the dating rumors. In real life, Yoo Yun Suk, after an easy start that required no auditioning, debuted and started his career with his first huge role in the drama Old Boy. After his time in the army, he then starred in many small television roles before stepping into more well-known roles like Architecture 101 and A Werewolf Boy. In 2013, he starred in the movie Reply 1994, which then elevated his status in the public eye. He dominated the screen with films like The Whistleblower, Royal Taylor, and Life Like a Dream. In 2016, Yoo Yun Suk starred in the medical theme drama Ethical Medical Teacher. This role brought him many great prizes and ultimately, he then stepped into the role of a ruthless but lovable killer as Mr. Sunshine. He portrayed a cold man with icy charm. He said exactly what he had to say and never backed down from a challenge. But we all know that there was plenty of love under that cool exterior. In 2020, Yoo Yun Suk became a pediatrician in the drama Hospital Playlist. With this role, along with his co-stars Jo Jung Suk, Jeon Mi Do, Jung Kyung Ho, Kim Tae Myung, he continued to cause waves and won the hearts of many fans. Right now, you can catch him in the drama Narco Saints on Netflix. This involves true events about a man who had to join the underground narco world in order to capture a Korean drug lord. He is also set to star in Understanding of Love, which is expected to be released later this year. Stay tuned for his amazing performance. But if you can't wait, you can also check out his Instagram or YouTube account. Lee Byung-hun was born and raised in a normal family with a younger sister who actually won the title of Miss Korea in 1996. Can you believe this incredible actor was born in 1970? Besides his top-tier career, Lee Byung-hun was also known as a lady killer in K-biz. He has been rumored to have dated famous beauties such as Kim Tae-hee, Choi Ji-woo, Yoon Eun-hye, Han Hyoju, Kim Min Hee, but has now settled down. You may have recently recognized him in Squid Games as the front man. If you were anything like me, you knew that voice under that black mask. In Mr. Sunshine, he warms the screen as Eugene Choi, a Korean man who fled Joseon as a boy only to return to Korea in a U.S. military uniform. Not a Korean, not an American, he comes back right at the brink of change with the Japanese occupation poised to take place. He meets and falls in love with Aishin, a noblewoman who is secretly fighting for her country. Not only romantic love, he also wrestles with his feelings for the country he fled as a boy. Eugene ultimately steals our hearts and fights for love. In real life, Lee Byung-hun has had a monster of a career and there is no slowing down. Over his career, he has won more than 70 awards titles in award ceremonies, more than 30 nominations at various award ceremonies as well. He has starred in top films and series in Korea from A Bittersweet Life to Bungie Jumping of Their Own. To huge acclaim in the U.S., he has acted alongside the likes of Denzel Washington, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Channing Tatum. Plus, he is one of the first Korean actors to have his hands cast at Grauman's Chinese Theater. We can't go any further without discussing the blackmail he had to endure from ex-girlfriends or opportunists. He went to court to fight all allegations against him that ranged from emotional distress, gambling addictions, and blackmail. On all accounts, he was innocent, but the level of deceit these women used against him was horrible, and during this time, his career suffered. Thankfully, in 2013, he married fabulous actor Lee Min Jung, who helped him emotionally with the court problems. They now have a beautiful son together. What is he up to now? This year, we have seen him as frontman in Squid Games, and he is going to reprise this role in season two. Don't forget to check out Our Blues on Netflix as he plays the character Lee Dong-suk. He 
He is also set to star in a Netflix film called The Match, plus a disaster thriller, Concrete Utopia. Can't wait. One thing is for sure, Kim Tyree is a hard worker, maybe a bit like her character noblewoman Aishin, who always strived to be better, working harder at perfecting her craft. She took us on such an emotional journey in Mr. Sunshine, I can't have been the only one who wanted to know more about her even when the series ended. Her honor and dedication to her country was a beautiful thing to watch. She sacrificed her own happiness for the good of the cause. Even though this was a historical drama, there were moments of cute humor that Kim Tyree was able to convey with her perfect facial expressions. Kim Tyree was born on April 24, 1990 in Seoul. After graduating from Yongshin Nursing Business High School, Kim studied journalism and communication at Kyunghee University. In 2016, Kim Tyree made her feature film debut in Park Chan-wook's The Handmaiden, where she was chosen from 1,500 actresses who auditioned for the role. Her performance as Nam Soo Ki truly put her on the map for the complex emotions portrayed by her. For her performance in the film, she won the award for Best New Actress at the Blue Dragon Film Awards, Director's Cut Awards, Buell Film Awards, and Busan Film Critics Awards. In 2018, Kim Tyree headlined the Korean film Little Forest alongside Ryu Jun Yol and Jin Ki Ju. Kim Tyree brought peace and love to the viewers with a slice of life as well as the delicious food. She won the Director's Cut Award and received nominations for the Blue Dragon Film Award, Baksung Arts Award, and Buell Film Award, all for Best Actress. In the same year of 2018, Kim Tyree made her small screen debut in the period melodrama Mr. Sunshine, written by Kim Eun Suk, and she was nominated for the Baksung Arts Award for Best Actress for her performance. Her latest work, 2521, has brought her a new wave of popularity around the world for her portrayal of the adorable and sweet national fencer Na Hee Do. The series was a huge hit and became one of the highest rated Korean dramas in cable television history. Many adored the way she, a 31 year old, was able to bring the confusing and sweet emotions of a high schooler to the screen with such ease. Her loud and brash personality was completely different from any other role of hers. In her personal life, she has revealed that she recently joined the BTS ARMY, but she has great joy in loving them. Fashion is always fun, and Kim Tyree is a Prada girl who has been seen to star in advertising campaigns for the iconic brand. Also since 2018, has been the face of Kenzo's signature fragrance. With her beauty, she will always shine in a campaign. Back to her acting, and we do know coming up she is set to star in a dark thriller called The Demon. We can't wait to see her again. Kim Hye-un, or Coach, in her latest drama, you will have seen her face in many dramas. Can you remember what character she was in Ethe One class? She began her career as an announcer and weathercaster for NBC before transitioning into acting. After several years of playing minor roles, she finally gained momentum in 2012 with her appearance in the award-winning movie Nameless Gangster, Rules of the Time. Her work in the film scored her Best New Actress nominations at the 48th Baksung Arts Awards and the 21st Buell Film Awards. After this, she starred in other roles from Equator Man, Secret Love Affair. Then, that same year, She's So Lovable. 2018 saw her sneak in a role in Mr. Sunshine where she played a loving mother that would do anything for her children in a terrible time of upheaval. In 2020, she was then cast as one of the main characters in JBTC's Graceful Friends, plus the tragedy of one. But it was her fabulous wardrobe and style that she unleashed in her role in Itaewon class as Kang Min Jung. I swear she stole the scene every time. Of course, her latest drama in 2521, she starred as Yang Chan Mi, a fencing medalist and coach of Nahi Do, Kim Tyree. Her character was loved for playing a coach who doesn't hesitate to use the carrot and stick method to train her students. While dishing out hard truths, but ensuring the athletes feel loved, she played the role perfectly. While filming scenes, the pair were said to sit side by side telling stories and laughing. But when the cameras began rolling, they instantly switched back into their respective roles by instantly changing their gestures to facial expressions. Maybe the closeness was due to the fact that they had acted together in Mr. Sunshine as family. As of yet, she seems to be taking a well-earned break with friends and family. Which of these actors can you not get enough of? Do you want to see them reunite in an upcoming project? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us.